everyone, welcome back. On this episode, I will show you what to do on a quick layover in London if it is your first time. So far, I transfer in London 15 times this year, and I gotta say, I know a thing or two about this city. Comment below if you have any questions. Enjoy. Arrive at the London Maria at Canary Wharf by the riverside. The flight was delayed, so I missed my connecting flight. And because I booked separately, it will not be covered by insurance. So let's make the best out of it and make a half day London vlog. And this is the breakfast station. I can get eggs or whatever. Hash brown, my favorite hash brown. This is the hot dish station, scrambled eggs. Tomatoes, baked beans, mushroom, which is my favorite. And then I will also get a pork sausage, bacon. So now we are gonna walk to Canada Place, take the Jubilee Line to Buckingham Palace. After the two hours Uber drive yesterday, I think today I am going to stay with the tube. <laughs> I don't usually stay on this side. I always stay like right in city center or stay near High Park. And I haven't been to this side for a while, so I was like, let's do that. Actually quite convenient in a way. So we had arrived at the Buckingham Palace in London. It is the official residence for the British monarch in London. It serves as both the office and the London home for Queen Elizabeth II, who sadly passed away last year. Now we're gonna see the iconic balcony. The balcony of the Buckingham Palace is a really iconic feature because you will see it as a, in, for all the appearances during royal events and celebrations where they greet the public, make appearances, and witness the important ceremonies. I have the Buckingham Palace behind me. Now we are gonna walk to Westminster Abbey and then eventually get Big Ben and all. The walk usually takes about 15 minutes-ish. Could be longer because I am on St. James Park. We are almost at the Westminster Abbey. I'm sure you all, you all know about this place already, but if you don't, here are some facts because it's got like the greatest history of Britain. We are now at Westminster Abbey, like the outside. Not only are the outside really, really iconic, I'm very sure that all of you would remember seeing pictures or video of the inside because so many weddings happened here, including William and Kate's. And also, that's where they crown all the British monarchs. I'm very, very sure that almost everyone in the world has seen this magnificent church because it's a must-go in London. Right next to the Westminster Abbey, you will see the Big Ben, the most iconic symbol of London or UK to me. On the other side, the road, you're gonna see another iconic place that people take pictures. The phone booth, people just line up for hours to take pictures with a red telephone phone booth and the Big Ben. I'm gonna show you the line right now. That's the Big Ben. The Westminster Abbey. Hi guys, actually it's called the Elizabeth Tower. People call it the Big Ben, but actually the Big Ben is on, it's only the bell inside. That weighs like 13 tons. On the left side of me right now is the Westminster Abbey. And then on the right side are the three telephone booth, the red telephone booth that everyone line up and take pictures for because you can get a picture with the telephone booth, with the Big Ben. If you only have that one day in London, can, can you do everything in one day? In my opinion, yes, you can do that. I've aggressively but it's actually not hard. You can do Westminster Abbey, you can do Buckingham Palace, you can do the London Eye, you can do the Big Ben, you can do the British Museum, Kate Martin, St. Paul's Cathedral, Towers of London. Next to it is the Tower Bridge which everyone calls London Bridge. Yes but what time do you have to wake up? You definitely have to wake up at 6. I will start here. Start pictures of the telephone booth and go from there. Uh, what else? You can also go to Borough Market and even go do some shopping in Soho, like Regent Street, Bond Street, Southridge and Harrods. Eat some Indian food, amazing Indian food. Not sure if you have 
two hours for afternoon tea, but I, I suggest that as well. So there's a lot that you can do in one day in London and aggressive enough, you can do all of it. Hi guys, so now we are at, in front of the Big Bands, we are now at the Palace of the Westminster, often called the Parliament Building or the House of Parliament. I'm gonna get on the Uber boat going from Westminster Pier to Tower Pier. It costs nine pounds and I just bought it on the Uber app because I want to take some videos of the London Bridge. So while we wait for the Uber boat, we are now looking at the London Eye. It is this gigantic Ferris wheel that was built at the year 2000. That's why the other name was the Millennial. When it was first built, I do remember it being like one of the biggest in the world, the tallest in the world actually. Then I went to the one in Singapore and then the, there was another one in Vegas and it tops it off. Because I, re I really like Ferris wheel so I have went to all of it. So but it is a really nice view up there. They do have like coffee, prosecco, sandwiches, chips, sodas. So the price is pretty reasonable. Right behind me is the St. Paul's Cathedral in London here and it is the second biggest church in the whole entire world right behind the Vatican. It's, it's definitely worth a visit though. It is really, really beautiful. And that's what I remember. I only went in once and that was like... Hi guys, right now we're at the Hayes Galleria. It used to be a dock 150 years ago. Many clippers from India and China passed through here, especially with all the tea. They have restored now and it is actually really, really beautiful. Now there are restaurants and shops and stuff. It used to be known called as the Ladder of London. So guys, we just, well, almost we almost arrived at the Tower Bridge. It is right in front of us. It is the other iconic symbol of London. It's often mistaken for London Bridge though, which is another bridge nearby, but it's much more simple. And you know how the, the towers of this, two, of this bridge, the Victoria Gothic style make it stand out more, so people always call it the London Bridge. But this is actually called the Tower Bridge. Now leaving the Tower Bridge, I'm going to meet my friend Lucy at Southridge. We're gonna have a drink and then I will head to the airport so that I can make my flight to Casablanca to meet up my two best friends. Yeah, so we are now on Bond Street making up one last stop before I go back to the hotel to check out because I'm meeting up my friend for a very quick drink. We will meet at Southridge. Why not, right? Some last minute shopping. I am at the Selfridge Lounge having a glass of champagne. Cheers! I hope you enjoyed this short London layover vlog. On next week's episode, I'm taking you all back to Chengdu for a city walk. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching!